Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at three completely unnecessary gadgets that are surprisingly highly rated. Let's see how they work in today's video. Let's start off with this clamp cup holder called the cup holster. This is the cup holster. I paid $13.97 for this. It is a clamp and cup holder. The clamp can slide into any of these three slots here. There's also a cutout for cup handles. The claims are that it has a high tension grip. It works for even for large drinks. Attaches to surfaces up to two inches. Won't scratch surfaces. Good for drinks, phones, flower pots, or any item needed to store out of the way. The pros on Amazon, people who love it say how sturdy it is, and some reviewers posted pics holding a wide variety of objects. Those who didn't like it, a few people said there was issues with it leaning over. Some said it was too flimsy. All right, let's give this a shot. Now this looks, looks like something that someone added a, a clamp to a cup holder, and that's pretty much it. It just looks like a clamp attached to a cup holder. I think this is more designed for something like a workbench or a desk, but I've got plenty of room in this kitchen. I'm gonna try it out. It should be the same result though, right? Now this counter is not more than two inches, so it should fit here easily. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, there's about, a, about an eighth of an inch clearance. Let me try this. Oh, interesting. As I'm tightening up, this particular piece of plastic is moving downward when I tighten it up. So this plastic is bending, so I don't want to over tighten that. So I got to be careful. It feels sturdy vertically, but horizontally it's kind of moving still. So we'll see how that works. That would account for why some people said it's sturdy and some people said it wasn't. If you're talking about vertically, it's quite sturdy. Horizontally, not so much. Now it does have a cutout here in the back for uh, coffee cups. This is a pretty small cup and it just fits. Large coffee cup probably is not going to fit in there, but it does fit. All right, let's try a few more things here. Skinny glass. Skinny glass fits no problem, and it's very sturdy vertically. How about a fountain soda from Wendy's? This is a medium. It's quite large. The medium's large. The large is really large. How about a large fountain drink from Wendy's? That fits there too. It's not going. This way? Yes. This way? No. Can of soda? No problem. This is a big, heavy, monster, hydro blue ice. Let's try that. Yeah, no problem there either. This is a fat glass. Does so this a fat glass will fit? No, the fat glass is not... I can squeeze the fat glass in there, but it's, it doesn't feel very safe. Squeezing the fat glass does not feel like a very good idea. I don't think I would do that. You can, I don't think I would. Some people said you could even fit things like a phone in there. Let's see how that works. Phone fits in there, no problem. Oh, some sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds work too. Well, I mean, it's a pretty simple device, but it does seem to work. People complained about it not being very sturdy, but I think they were talking about more moving it horizontally than up and down, because once it's clamped, it seems like it's pretty strong. So yeah, this is probably designed more for a workbench or a cluttered desk where you need a little bit of extra space, not necessarily the kitchen I tried it in, but as long as you have a surface that it clamps to, it actually works. Next up is this seed and nut holder with integrated phone holder. Now, as ridiculous as that sounds, I've actually had some requests for this one. Let's see if it actually works. This is the seed nut holder and shell receptacle with integrated phone holder. I paid $7.49 for this. It's also an Amazon's choice. The claims it allows you to easily dispose of shells while enjoying your phone or tablet. Food grade material, sturdy and durable. Good for pistachios, sunflower seeds, olives, and other fruits and nuts. People on Amazon who liked it, they love the convenience of snacking on sunflower seeds without worrying about the shells. Others said it's easy to clean and a great gift idea. Now those who didn't like it, some people said it's too big, some people said it's too small. Others said it won't hold most phones with a case. The way it works is you optionally put your phone there. You put your sunflower seeds, for example, in there. Shells go in here. Once you're done, you can open it up, clean it out. Before I test out the phone holder and seed bowl, I've got kind of a quick bonus review for you. It seems appropriate. This is a sunflower seed peeler, which I bought a few months ago and I decided not to review, but here it is anyways. I think I paid 26 bucks for this on Amazon, not cheap. The way it's supposed to work is you uh, press the button. We have power. And it supposedly shells a sunflower seed by just pressing it through one of these slots. I got some uh, standard sunflower seeds right here. Oh, wow. I mean, you know what? It did work. That's intact and the shell is taken off. Here. Let me try another one. Maybe this isn't so bad after all. Oh, it, just, it just got stuck. It's stuck in there. Oh, and it came out. It's not really shelled. It's just kind of damaged. Let me try it again. No. 
it, it didn't like that. Wow, the first one was great, second one not so good. Not worth 26 bucks, so if you're wondering about these, I would say probably not a good idea. That's too bad, it worked well in one, but then after that, nothing. Let's get back to the stars, show here. Let me try a phone here without a case on. Let me see how it works. Seems to hold the phone pretty well. Without anything in there, it's a bit top heavy. Let me try with a case on. This is a pretty thin case, but let's see. Oh, it actually feels better with a case in there. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do pistachios or peanuts or sunflower seeds, so I picked pistachios because it just sounds better right now. Let's fill it up and see what happens. I guess you do want to make sure that your, your phone can clear them. All right, that's about as many as I, not really a lot. It's not a huge amount. I don't know, maybe I could fit some more after my phone is in there now. I don't know, we'll see. Let me go over to the couch and see how it works in a real world situation. Kick it back on the couch with some pistachios and my phone. Let's see how it goes. First test. Guys, it works kind of like you thought it would. If I have any complaints, it's a bit top heavy. It feels like the phone's kind of making it want to tip backward. Kind of a minor complaint. There's a lot more room in the bottom for the shells than there are for the seeds or nuts on the top. I guess you could have multiple rounds where you have to empty out. I have now moved up to the big leagues. I've got peanuts in here. It doesn't here hold nearly as many peanuts as it does pistachios or probably sunflower seeds. It's a pretty small amount of peanuts, but maybe that doesn't really matter. Well, it's pretty simple and there's not much that can really go wrong with it, but I guess my only cons would be that it's a bit top heavy and it doesn't hold a lot of peanuts. But otherwise, if you like what you see, you might like it. It's weird because some of the comments said it was too big and some said it was too small. It seems like the top is a little bit too small and the bottom is a little bit too big. But otherwise, I think it works. All right, so after you're done, all you have to do is dump it out. Now you can dump it out without taking the top off. But when you're ready to clean it, it does come apart. My Tonu trash can, if you've never seen the review, pretty cool trash can. But I digress. When you're ready to clean it, they say it's not dishwasher safe. Someone in the comments says it was. I'd probably err on the side of caution and just wash it by hand. But it's pretty simple. It'd be easy to clean. And then you're ready to go again. Now, some people are not going to like the idea of having their phone so close to their nuts, so to speak. And you don't have to use it with your phone at all. But as far as having a place where you can stash your shells while you're eating seeds or nuts, it actually works. And finally, it's the Taker Roll paper towel holder, protector, and dispenser. This is probably the least unnecessary of the bunch, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Check it out. This is the Taker Roll by Roll Gear, not on Amazon. I paid $19.95 direct from the website on this. Uh, it comes in four colors. This is the mushroom color. The claims are that it's a heavy duty portable paper towel protector, keeps towels clean and in place when it's windy. Good for picnics, camping, RVs, parties, or just around the house. They say it fits most standard size towel rolls, but you may have to use a couple towels first if you use the large size. Not on Amazon, so no pros and cons to report, so we're flying blind on this one. So all you do for this one is put your paper towel holder in there and you thread it through there and then it's a protected paper towel holder. All right, using this to be pretty easy. All you have to do is take the top off. Inside there's kind of a little nodule where the paper towel roll attaches to. All right, so we're gonna place it in here. The paper towel is on the nodule. Now we would kind of fish this through here. Top back on. Now you're gonna kind of have to pull it off at an angle or you're just gonna keep going. Let me try pulling a few of these off here and see how it goes. We're gonna have to just pull it backward, I think. We keep practicing. All right, I'm feeling it. I'm getting there. I think three of the idea isn't supposed to be the best dispenser in the world. It's really supposed to be something that protects your paper towel, which it seems to do, and keeps it from blowing away. In fact, let me go outside. It's kind of breezy out there and see how the blow away test works. On the left, take a roll. On the right, a regular roll of paper towels. It's been a bit breezy today. I'll wait for wind gusts and see what happens. Uh oh, no, yeah. maybe. Oh, we go, there it went. And the taker roll is still standing. Taker roll did not move at all, while the regular paper towel roll moved quite a bit actually. All right, well, it definitely seemed to work out in the wind, which is what this is kind of designed for. So let me go hit the road and try my second test with a taker roll. I was gonna get uh, 10 chili cheese dogs. Time for some Wiener Schnitzel hot dog. These can get messy. Mm. Oh man, I got chili all over my hand. Towel, please. What do you know? 
That worked quite well. It actually works. I think I'm just gonna pull all the paper towels off this roll and see how it goes. If there's any learning curve at all, I'm gonna learn during this process. Let's try it out. I guess if you pull it kind of backwards, it might, it might work or, or it might not. I'm not sure the dispensing part of this is really its feature as much as the protecting part. Oh, there we go. Give it a, a quick twist. There we go. All right, now we're on a roll. Let's keep going. Eek. Maybe I went too fast. All right. Oh, this paper towel roll's lasting a long time. Oh, and that's it. That's it. All right. We're empty. Sometimes you have to actually use two hands with it. Sometimes you can get it with one. It kind of varied. Pretty good dispenser, even, even better protector. I've got to give it credit, the taker roll does do everything it says it's supposed to do, although not everyone is going to see the point. But if you find yourself eating outdoors a lot, and especially if in a windy area, this might be a good match for you. Now I got all these. Well, that's it. This was an interesting group of products. If you've used any of these, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.